Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I would be going to discuss about UiPath process mining. To make the video short, I have segregated this whole playlist into short, short videos. So do not miss any of the playlist. With these things, let's dive it into UiPath process mining. So the agenda for us will be process mining overview. Why is process mining important? What is UiPath process mining? How does UiPath process mining work? Features of UiPath process mining, benefits of UiPath process mining, use cases for UiPath process mining, and finally the conclusion. So let's go into what is process mining. So theoretically, process mining is a data-driven analysis technique used to gain insights into how processes work in reality based on the analysis of event logs from IT systems. For example, if you have any systems like ER, any systems like SAP, Salesforce, or Oracle, and the logs that is generated from those systems, you can integrate that with process mining and then you can visualize the system. So it provides organizations with a visual representation of the process, highlighting inefficiencies, bottlenecks, and areas for improvement. It further diagnoses our processes and prescribes solutions to improve them. We need a transparent, accurate view of what is going on. Process mining helps generate X-rays we need from the head start. And this is what process mining for you. So now let's see why process mining is so important. Process mining helps organizations understand how their processes work as opposed to how they are supposed to work on paper. The reality is very different from what is the expectation. It can help identify area for improvement such as bottlenecks, redundancies, and inefficiencies. Finally, by optimizing processes, organizations can save time, money, and resources and ultimately improve customer satisfaction. So this is just a basic definition and why we need process mining. There are many drivers for change, why organizations are looking for process mining. And the few things that I want to highlight here are, there are increasing administrative expenses, the need to improve employee engagement and reduce attrition, the need to ensure business continuity during critical times, and finally, the need to keep pace with evolving customer expectation. These force the organization to look into what their process look like and where they can improve their existing processes. With this part, I will discussing the next part that is the manual process discovery versus the technology led process discovery. If you haven't subscribed my video, hit the like button leave the comment and share with your friends. It seems like a small step from you, but it makes a difference. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.